Hello folks, welcome to the channel, it's Channel Jose. Today we're going to show you what we think about this Milwaukee M18 uh, circular saw. And this is a uh, battery operated and uh, we don't have this tool yet. Uh, we just got it from Milwaukee and uh, we had very good experience with Milwaukee tools. So we're going to be, we're excited to open this box and see how this item looks like and how it operates and with that let's get started and well folks the box is um it's a uh, yeah it has some weight to it and it's a uh, m18 the part number is 2630-20 and this is a m18 cordless six and a half circular saw so we're gonna get it out of the box and uh we are pretty impressed in the past so let's see how we how we do this time Okay, folks, so what's in the box is just this, the circular saw, the little uh, one key solutions inside, little pamphlet or little booklet, and there's the Milwaukee operation manual and this as well, this little plastic that we're going to find out what this is for, and then we have the blade, which is a framing blade that comes with it, and it's a, a 24 carbide teeth. And this is a six and a six and a half blade. So this is all it's in the box. There's it's just a tool, but when they say just a tool, it comes with a blade. So we have the batteries and we're gonna put it to the test as well and see. So, and then we're gonna put the blade on it and we're gonna try it and see what how it reacts on cutting. So with that, let's continue. The first thing that I notice is that the grip, you can grab this from the front with the, your full fist and you can grab with the other hand or either hand and operate the, the saw and you can have control you can have a structure tie down point and then you can use your other hand to pull the um, trigger and you have a full control of the saw so I like that and another thing that they did when you're with a handle is that they put the allen wrench for the nut or the bolt that ties down the uh, blade and for to do that you will have to press this locking device right here and once you press the locking device you can use the allen wrench to loosen or tighten the blade and it won't spin because this is locking the mechanism so it doesn't spin so i like that where uh, milwaukee thought about putting the tool for that process on the handle so you, it's the tool is always there sometimes we start losing tools but if it's there that's going to be a good thing they have the adjustable angle so if you need to cut a wood in a different angle because it's in a slope and you want it flat you can do that and it has the degrees right here on the side you get it goes from zero all the way to 50. so that's the angle that can give you so that's a good thing it's a plastic knob uh, securing point to adjust how much the blade shows in the bottom they have this uh, securing point and then you can extend or retract so less blade shows or or more blade shows depending on how deep you want to make the cut or how deep that uh, wood is so you can adjust it to the length that you want it and it has some numbers on the back right on this area on how much blade is showing how many inches it goes from two inches two inches this goes to two inches right now showing it will be showing two inches or it can go to half inch so if you put it all the way down it will be half an inch showing at this point so there will be some blade showing though so that's what I like about Milwaukee though. They put some numbers so you can get an idea of what's going on. Also on the side of the, of the base, they have some numbers here from zero to eight inches. So uh, I'm not familiar with that. How much you're cutting into it. So from when you started, where the cut is, you're about, if you only need to cut four or five or six inches, you stop right where the cut is, uh, started and that's how much you are into the cut. So I like that too because it gives you an idea. And uh, it's a well-made tool, so we'll put it to the test. 
Okay, folks, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to put the blade on, we're going to put the battery on, and we're going to test it and see how this uh, tool reacts on the cutting. So what we have noticed as well is that we have to loosen the, the bolt by do, trying to tighten it. So the bolt is coming out right now. So if we try to loosen it, it actually goes in. So the threads are reversed. So as you can see, we're taking the bolt all the way out by tightening it supposedly, and it came out. So now we get the half of the uh, securing point out. We put the blade, and then we gotta make sure that we put it the right way. So we put it on. To put the blade on, you gotta be careful, it's sharp, so you don't wanna cut yourself when you're doing this. So for the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you wanna have the right rotation in the right angle. And for that, the reading has to be outside. So then you move manually, move the, the, the guard off, and then you slide the blade from the bottom, and then you start guiding it into the housing, and then you slide it right into the, to the shaft, and once you do that, you put the outer piece guard or securing point to the blade. Once you do that, then you put the bolt with the Allen wrench on, and this bolt tines, it has to be tightened like if you were loosening a bolt, a regular bolt. This is a reverse threads. So now that you got it all the way, you notice that it's gonna spin, right? So you don't try to hold it by hand on the blade. Now what you can do is release the guard and then you come over here and there's the locking point where you can push it in and then you get your Allen wrench and then you start spinning it. It's gonna spin, but it's gonna come to a point where it's gonna lock because the, the lock that I'm pushing is already engaged. So then you tighten it. It should be good. You put your tool back on the grip and now we put the battery on. Okay, folks, so now we were asking about, we were talking about this plastic piece. And uh, what, what this is, is that it comes with a Phillips screw and it comes this little plastic uh, circle. So what this does is you put it right on the back of the structure on the bottom, you put it like this. And what this is, is it's a connection for your vacuum. So when you're doing it internal in your house or inside the garage and you don't want the wood dust to go everywhere. Hook up your vacuum here, turn it on, and then you can start cutting and all that dust is gonna be sucked by the vacuum at this point. So this is a structure to keep the vacuum hose attached to your saw when you're doing cuts. So we'll put it on and then we'll have it available in case any time we need it. And there it is, there's a vacuum hose point so you can be cleaning at the same time when you're cutting wood so simple and effective so we just put it on and if we ever need it it's already there so we we can actually use it outside and we don't have to have the hose attached but we always have it there in case we needed it okay folks so we got our battery so didn't come with the battery so we had it so we're gonna put it on and then now what we do is we know that the blade is secure because we tighten the bolt so we, we that's the only thing we gotta worry about this point so we put our battery we just slide it back in the back piece of the saw and then we are ready to cut so for that point up here there's a thumb secure point that we gotta pull down to be able to pull with the index finger that trigger otherwise if we pull the trigger it won't react so we gotta do a safety feature that they did so we pull with the with the thumb and then we press with the index okay so it sounds a little weak but we're gonna put it to the test the battery is fully charged so we'll cut some wood and see how it reacts and see how it performs. So now we have a two by four. We're gonna cut it and see how the saw reacts to it.
Now we saw that the saw cut the 2x4 pretty, pretty well, but it, it seems like it needs more uh, RPMs. But uh, now with that, we're going to test it on a 2x12 and see how the saw reacts to this. we are very uh, satisfied with this uh, tool it is a really good tool for a home projects or even for work but um, we have no complaints about it so far the battery and the mo the the motor is pretty strong and it cuts right through the wood like nothing and it takes its time because the size of the, the diameter of the blade but it cuts through the 2x12 and the 2x4 so we're really satisfied with the milwaukee uh, circular saw m18 so uh, we recommend it so for those folks who are watching us and haven't signed up to our channel please sign up if you like this video give us thumbs up share it and we'll see you soon with more videos here in el canal el chano jose